while I'm up here, I decided I would come check on Yeti and Bear, the ferrets. And I noticed the top cage is open. Do you know anything about the whereabouts of Yeti, <laughs> spaghetti, or Bear don't care? Oh, okay, never mind. Meeting over. All right, you guys, all I'm gonna say is I hope that your day's starting off way better than ours. Actually, it's 5.30, um, and we're just beginning our day, 5.30 p.m. So I woke up with, with a sore throat. Ada had a sore throat all night, still is having a sore throat. She's laying back there on the couch because she's not feeling well. This little booger butt is not feeling well as well, right? You have a sore throat? She just no, got done. it's fine because I ate ice cream, but my nose is just the, stuffy. Your nose is stuffy, but the... The ice cream uh, helped your sore throat, right? Uh -huh. I've been trying to chug water like crazy, drink tea, all that good stuff, but I still have like irritation back there. That's only problem number one of the day. So I go upstairs to the upstairs little kitchen that the girls have up there to try to find popcorn because Rory wants popcorn and we don't have any downstairs. So I thought maybe they had some popcorn up there in the microwave. Then when I get up there, I notice that it's kind of hot up there. We just spent $20,000 on new AC units. So it should not be hot anywhere in the house. So there's something going on with our nest unit. I don't think it's the actual AC, but it is so hot up here. Um, something's not connecting right. If you look at this little diagram, that little red thing, the power's off and it needs to be on. And we, I'm out of breath from going upstairs. I can't figure out what to do right now. And while I'm up here, I decided I would come check on Yeti and Bear, the ferrets. And I noticed the top cage is open. Sometimes Ada does leave the cage open so they can just roam in and out as they please, roam around her room and roam back in. But the problem with that was the bedroom door got left open. Now we just have ferrets roaming around the house and we can't find them. So we're gonna go on a little ferret hunt. And they could be anywhere. I don't, oh my gosh. When we first got them, uh, the, the people that we bought them from gave us these little ferret finder collars. But we just never really hooked them up because we don't typically let them free roam around the entire house. They're usually under constant supervision, but accidents happen and this is kind of a big one. So. We're gonna need to recruit everybody to help. Eric, he is the escape artist. One night, he escaped out of his cage all the way downstairs into our bedroom, Jesse and I's bedroom, and slept under our bed the whole night. And we didn't find him till morning. He was snuggling with Diesel all night long. Goodness, it is quite messy under this bed. There's a Taco Bell wrapper. I blame the dog's cups under the bed. Oh my goodness. Check the bathroom here in the closet. Oh my goodness, where could they be? I don't think it is something with the nest. It has something to do with the... Uh... That's brand new. I know. I know. I'm like so annoyed right now. Oh. Okay. Well, I have something Ugh. to cheer you up. Because I didn't even want to spend the money on this. I found one ferret and he's in the cutest little spot. Come here. Okay. To see this. I was like looking in Ada's closet. Why did Ada let him out? Why? I don't know. He almost like blends in. But look at him down here. Look at how cute he looks. Oh, <laughs> Yeti spaghetti. Yeti spaghetti. I'm sleeping. Uh, but seriously, why did Ada, like, did she accidentally leave the cage open She might, she might have, I don't know, but I can't find Bear. All I've found is Yeti so far, and they're usually together, so this is kind of weird. But he found, like, a cushiony little spot on her robe. It's so cute. Well, let's see if Bear got himself tangled up in these little tunnels. Was her door shut? No, her door was open. He's not in here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Bye. All right, boys. Serious pet meeting. Do you know anything about the whereabouts of Yeti? <laughs> Spaghetti or bear don't care. Oh, okay, never mind. Meeting over. That's just how boys are. <laughs> Diesel, ouch, my ears. That really hurts my ears. They end up in your <laughs> Did the ferrets end up in your room? Who? The ferrets, they're missing. Well, I found Yeti. Bear's still missing. I walked into Ada's room and the cage was open and her door was open. Um. Let's check your room. Because I know they like to go under your bed. Bear likes to hide and sneak into the trundle. Um, can you pull it out? Or how do you see him? Do you just crawl uh, under there? I usually I hear him. He'll come to me and I don't hear him. You don't hear any noise? No, so... What if he fell asleep in there? Because oh. Yeti fell asleep. I found him sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> Where's Bear? You know where he is, don't you? Yeah, he did something with them. I know you Tell know where people. he is. That's why he's looking so salty. Tell the people what you did there. That is not good. That is not being a good pet friend. You would never. I know you would never. Jayla, let's think about this. If you were a ferret, where would you hide? Um. Or where would a cozy spot to be for you to hide and then fall asleep? They like to squeeze behind tight things. Um. Uh, it's gonna take out, a while. Outside? How would you get outside? In the grass. It's nice and cozy. How would you get outside? The doors have been shut. 
Pick another spot. If you were a ferret, think about be the fridge. Become like a ferret. Okay. Yep. Very good. Now you're walking oh, around looking behind the fridge. How are we gonna look behind there? The behind the fridge. Okay. If I was a ferret, I would not hide behind the no, fridge. No, behind the mini fridge. There's a little space, and they like to sit behind there. They do. Yeah. They go back there. Yes. Okay. Let's check. So here's the little crack behind the mini fridge that's in the girls' upstairs kitchen. See if I can pull this thing out and. See a bear's back there. Also, we're officially out of popcorn, so Rory's not gonna be happy about that. Um, okay. I don't know if I can do this by myself. I mean, it is a little fridge, but it's just kind of. Mom, I think I have a spot he might be. Okay, yeah, he's not back there. Now that the dogs have calmed down, Diesel. I know you're not gonna give me anything, are you? Nope, didn't think so. Okay, so they do like to come and play in these blocks, but obviously, you know, they made a mess of the blocks, but they're not hiding in this bucket. They do like to hide in the bucket, so I don't see them here. Sometimes they crawl behind, between all these Legos and stuff. By the way, we have all these Legos and Mega Blocks and foam blocks because we did an amazing ferret um, obstacle course for the ferrets. It was so much fun. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. I'll put a card. And then Jayla did one with her rats. We made like a maze with the blocks and they had to go through obstacle courses, go through hoops, all kind of fun stuff. But it was like a battle, like which ferret's gonna do it the best. Really diesel? Okay, moving on. So I couldn't find the ferrets. I found Yeti, but I can't find Bear. Do you know any of his favorite hiding spots? Um, probably in that hole we have. In the kitchen? Uh -huh. We stuffed it. What do you think? Does he ever go in dad's office or anything? Well, he might have went under the, the crack, but I did not see him run in here. You didn't see him run in here? Uh-huh. Okay, so let's check the bathroom. They like to, they can get into the tub sometimes. They're no. not in there. Check Where the shower. In the... Check the shower, because they like to drink water. The no, they can't fit down the drain, silly. Is he in the shower? I think wherever no. he is, he like fell asleep somewhere. He's not under my bed. I don't see him under here. Look how much better my bed is compared to Ada's. In the backpack? Um, Did he get in dad's backpack? I know he likes to go in backpacks sometimes. No? Nope. Oh man. Is he, oh, you okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> is he behind the couch? Let me check behind the pillow. Yeah, check behind the pillow back there. In case you're wondering, like, I'm sucking in. <laughs> so, so you can fit through the crack? Yeah. You got it? You need help? <laughs> oh, you got this. Here. I don't see him under there. Oh my goodness, this is not good. At first I was just kind of laughing about this because I'm like, oh, we'll find him, no big deal. But I'm starting to get kind of worried. Like what if he found a way up into the attic? What if he found a way like up into the attic or something? That we would never find him up there. I like to crawl like under the cabinets here, but I don't see him crawling around under there. I don't see him anywhere. All right, check behind the couch where he might have, he might have came back here and then fell asleep. Nope. Ada's not, Ada's not feeling well, so she's taking a nap, and she has no idea that the, that the ferrets are lost. So um, it's probably better that she doesn't know so she doesn't freak out. Well, Jesse's, meanwhile, Jesse's on the phone with a technician. Um, so we'll keep you updated if we have AC tonight or not. Well, that would be fun. It's very hot in Florida right now. Coming? Yeah, we have to check the game room. Now let's check your trundle, Rory. My goodness, you got a lot of goodies under here. We're gonna have to check in the sleeping bag because you know they like to go in sleeping bags. Yeah. All right, check in there. Move that pillow out of the way. This is where Rory keeps all her extra stuff for when she has sleepovers, huh? All your extra pillows and blankets and uh -huh. stuffies. All right, do you see anything? I don't see anything. Oh my gosh, Ada's gonna freak out if she wakes up and realizes that he's lost. Well, the news just keeps getting worse. The AC guy cannot come out tonight. So it looks like we might be sleeping without AC. Hey, Jayla. Jayla has an idea right, of where so Bear think, can be. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the cage is open, right? Yes. Bathroom door is shut. That has been determined. Maybe Ada chucked him in there and then shut the door and... Well, I did find Yeti the in there. parents love to hide in dirty clothes. So they do? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Barry Boo! You're supposed to be in the sweater. We found you! <laughs> we found you, Barry Boo! What were you doing getting out of your cage, huh? <laughs> Yellow, look at look at Yeti. Do you see him down yeah, there laying on the road? The other day. He's so cute. He looks no. so peaceful. Let Bear go in there with him. Okay. Go ahead, Bear. Go be with your friend. Go be with your brother. They're besties. I want to see if he's gonna go right to him or not. Don't go in there. Go see Yeti. 
Look at Yeti sleeping. You want to go sleep with oh, him? He's waking up. He's waking up. Shh, bear. Shh, quiet. Come on. Do you not, like, smell your brother? Do you not smell him? Nope, you're just gonna leave him like that? Gonna leave him stranded with no cuddle buddy? How dare you? I'm so happy that we found the ferrets. That was really starting to freak me out. Like, I didn't want to show it as much because I didn't want the kids to start freaking out and get sad and thinking that they're gonna be hurt or something, but they were fine. I think Ada purposefully let them out and she put them in her bathroom and closet so they could have some uh, roaming time to play in there because they love playing in there. So the AC guys are not gonna be able to come tonight. Thankfully, we will have AC downstairs, but then there won't be any upstairs for the girls. So that's not gonna be very much fun for them. Uh, but Jesse's trying to find a way to, it's, there's like a clog going on. So fingers crossed that he'll be able to unclog it for us. I think it's about time for a little terror talk in Jayla's room. Today's been a pretty crappy day. Lost the ferrets, had a freak out moment there, but I was trying to hold it together as best I could. So glad that we found them um, and it didn't take a long time. Ada's still sleeping, so she has no idea that any of that even went on. So that's the good part of the day. AC is broken. I'm feeling sick, Ada's feeling sick, Rory's feeling sick. You feeling sick from what? I don't know, I just have a sore throat. And I've been feeling crappy all day, that's why I, haven't, I didn't even get out of bed till like four o'clock today. Can we go get ice cream? Ice cream sounds good. We should go get ice cream. I asked you earlier if we could. I said we would, it just took me a while to get ready because I was so tired. Um, so, let's end our day with something happy. Come have ice cream with us. Ah! <laughs> You'll love it. I'm just gonna check on Yeti and Bear one more time, make sure they're doing okay in here. Yeti has not moved from his sleeping spot. In fact, it looks like he got even more comfy. Okay, I think there might be a bear in here because <laughs> it's a big lump. Oh, look at him, he's sleeping in the... Oh my goodness, hi. Are you sleeping in the sweater? Are you so nice and warm? Oh, he's a tired little boy, yeah. Yeah, look at that, he's so sleepy, guys. <laughs> Little, look at how comfy. All right, buddy, you have a good sleep. Oh my goodness, I wanna eat him up, he's so cute. He just yawned again. All right, go back to, go back to sleep. You get cozy, yeah, go in there. Super excited to end my day with something happy. On a happy note, um, Jesse decided to stay home and try to fix the AC. We're gonna go to Sonic, get some ice cream. Ada was feeling well enough to at least make it to the car. I don't think she even has shoes on, but that's usually Ada anyways. <laughs> so she can pick out her ice cream. And then we're gonna do a quick story time with Tara in the car once we park because this is annoying. It's way too bumpy. Okay, this is officially the worst day. Worst day! Oh my God, you're I'm making gonna, it worse. I'm gonna hurt my throat. Sonic is not even open. Let's go drive by and see if they're like, what the deal is because it, it looks like the restaurant is like literally shut down. It better not be shut down for good. I jinxed myself with the story time I was about to tell you guys. Here it is, here's my story time. <laughs> I might cry. So, when we moved here from Minnesota, um, I can't even think, can't even think straight right now. My whole life, I grew up, South Louisiana, Sonic. It was like a staple, you go get banana splits, chili cheese dogs. You just go to Sonic, You hung. we hung out at Sonic. Everything like that. Um, then when I moved away to Minnesota to be with Jesse, no Sonic, eight years. Except for when I went home to visit, which was like maybe once every other year. No Sonic, eight years. Then we moved to Florida. First four years, no Sonic, once again. Then, four years after we lived here, we decided to move to the new house that we live at now, which is on a way another part of town, um, kind of far away, so I never came here. And there was a Sonic, literally, within walking distance from the house. Like we can walk here if we want to, but it's usually too hot so we choose not to. But we do ride bikes occasionally. Anyways, getting off we, track. You mean me? So I was so excited to have a Sonic chili, I ate at Sonic every day for two weeks straight. Chili cheese dogs, all that milkshakes. They better not be, <laughs> Jayla, what if they're closed down? I don't think they are, cause when What I are you and your friends gonna do to hang out whenever you're driving, officially driving? You're not gonna have Sonic. No, but every time we go to Sonic, there's always so many people. So I think they're just taking a break. Might be going to church, it's Sunday. Today's Monday. I know, I didn't think you were gonna catch on. Get it right. One week till school starts. Don't even say that. I hate you. <laughs> they had a bunch of like AC duct work looking things inside of the might restaurant. Just be redoing the AC or something. We're gonna drive by and see if they have a note on the door. There are cones up, so you can't even go in. What so in the world is happening? This is so sad. Look at, see the inside of the restaurant, it's like filled with things. Yeah. And there's they're like, like remodeling. Let's just hope oh, they're remodeling. The see, yeah, see like, all that stuff? like a dumpster. Let's just hope they're remodeling. Let's pray. Yes. We have one more stop to make before we get home. Jesse needs 
white vinegar to fix the AC. Um, so we're gonna go and get that and what hopefully, that I think it clears the clock cause there's like a clog in the drain. Um, hopefully that redeems our day because just nothing has been going right today. The world just feels gray today. Plus we also barely had any sun. We're the sunshine state. Exactly, it feels gray. It has been a very gray day. I don't like gray days. I want sunny days. Why? Why, Jayla? Why, Why Ada? Why? Hello. We go to this store. They don't they're, have it. They're out of white, like who is out of white vinegar? Yeah, we went out of our way to go to this store because we didn't want to go to the store that we didn't have to go to. Yeah. I went to a smaller store because I didn't want to go to like a big giant grocery store because I only need one item. I didn't want to fight the crowds or whatever. Um, so now we have to go to the big store anyways. Oh, I just got a text message from Jesse that says, don't, wor don't worry about the vinegar. Yeah. Why? Because you made a big deal about it, so I'll just go get it tomorrow. I'm already out trying to get it. The first store was out of white vinegar, so now I'm on to the second store. Well, that's not. Just don't worry about it. It fixed the, it fixed the AC. It's fine. It's Are you working. sure? Because I can stop and grab it. It's not a big deal. We're already out. No, it's fine. I already fixed it. And I'm just, uh. <laughs> All right. Just, I was just out of the heat, so I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah. All right. Love you. We're on our way home. Bye. Can we still get ice cream? Good news, the AC has been fixed. Where are we gonna go to get ice cream? I don't know, look at the ice cream place. I just give up on today, guys. We're, oh, we could go to Wits. All right, so we're just gonna say goodbye for now, not forever. Um, we're gonna go to Wits, it's the local ice cream place here. They have the so best, good. best ice cream. And we're gonna go get some, so. I go left or right? You go right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, don't do drugs, give hugs. And eat you some chicken. No!